Hi again, I'm Griff and this is my mom Sarah. See if you guys enjoyed last episode when we went on the Alamo line. We thought it would be fun to go on the Glen Waverley one today. Our trip today goes from Glen Waverley to Hainton. Since the Glen Waverley line goes all the way to Flinders Street, we're not going to worry too much about the stations that line up with the other lines like Burnley, East Richmond and... Richmond. Richmond. There we go. Yes. Here we are at Glen Waverley Station. It is a major public transport hub for the eastern suburbs and access point for the Glen Shopping Centre. There are lots of great restaurants here too, and there's a bike path that runs next to the line all the way to Holmescombe. The idea for a railway line towards Glen Waverley began in 1884 as part of the railway's construction bill. This bill proposed an enormous 50 different lines around Melbourne, including one from Burnley to Glen Iris. How many lines are there in Melbourne now, Griff? 16. So we can tell that this was a time when railways were very, very popular. Glen Waverley was originally called Black Flat, after the colour of the soil here. In 1896, gold was discovered about where the Glen Shopping Centre is today, but it never amounted to anything. Local railway enthusiasts were keen to bring the railway out here and first proposed creating a line connecting to the Outer Circle line at Burwood. It proved too expensive for the government. The Black Flat name changed to Glen Waverley in 1905. By the 1920s, an electrified railway line was built along the path of today's line. It had already arrived in Hangton for St Kevin's College, but then it got to Burnley, then to Ronga, then Glen Iris, and then Darling. Finally, in 1930, this line was extended to Glen Waverley. The next station is Sindor. Here you can catch the 703 to Middle Brighton and to Blackburn. Sindor is right next to Wesley College, so it's a good option if you go to this school. The naming of stations along the new line attracted much public discussion at the time. The suggestion of Sindal for the station came from the Shire of Mulgrave after a nearby property owned by Sir Redmond Barry. He was a colonial judge and the inaugural Chancellor of the University of Melbourne. We have Mount Waverley Station. This is the station for Avila College and Hunting Tower School. The 733 to Oakley and Box Hill and the 623 to St Kilda also stop here. The original name for this area was Tally Ho. The renaming to Mount Waverley attracted some criticism from Victorian railways over whether it was too long to fit on identifying signs. At a public meeting, someone suggested Yak and Dander instead, and so the railways went with Mount Waverley. Next station is Jordanville. The 767 to Southland Shopping Centre and Box Hill Station stops here. This station is named after the Jordan family who owned the land around here. That's right. After World War II, a housing estate was built here for returned servicemen and their families. One of the gangs that formed here was called the Geordie Boys. They caused a lot of trouble in the 1950s and 60s. You know that song's Jessie's Girl? Yes, you know, I wish I had just these girls. That's the one. The singer Rick Springfield grew up around here. Really? Yes, so did Shelley Strong from Skyhooks. Who? Never mind. Next we have Holmes Glen. It was named after the factory built to make ammunition during World War II. After that, it made the houses for the Housing Commission. These days it's a TAFE. Holmes Glen connects the Glen Waverley line to Royal Road. If you want to go to Chatsden Shopping Centre, you need to catch the 903 bus from here between Altona and Mordialic. You can also catch the 624 to Oakley Station and Q here too. Holmes Glen was the site of a terrible murder in 1965. It was very shocking because nobody ever thought anything like that would happen out here. Back then, and there were no lights or public phones. The man who committed this crime grew up in Ashburton. Did they catch him? Yes, his friends turned him in and he went to prison for a very long time. Now we have East Malvern. It is where the train line starts to run next to the Monash Freeway. You can also access the Gunners Creek Trail from here. 
Originally, East Malvern was supposed to be one word. That looks stupid. Yes, someone finally figured that out too, so it became two words. The next station is Darling. There's not much to say about Darling, but it's named after Darling Road, and you can access the Gardner's Creek Trail from here. The interesting thing about Darling is that the platform going to the city is dark brick and the one going from the city is smaller and white. I think that's from when the line was duplicated. Next we are at Glen Iris. Here is where you can catch the number 6 tram to Moreland. It's the first time trams intersect with the Glen Waverley line. Did you know that for many years the freeway stopped at Glen Iris? No. It was originally called the South Eastern Freeway and during the 1970s and 80s there were big public fights over connecting it to the Mulgrave Freeway. People did not want to see Gardner's Creek destroyed, but eventually the traffic became so bad that there was no choice but to connect it together. There's a lot of graffiti on the Glen Waverley line. Yes, I think some of it's older than you are. The next station is Gardner. This is where you get off to go to Bounce because it's terrible trying to park here. I have taught you well. You can catch the 72 tram to Cotham Road in Melbourne University. Gardner was named after the early European landowner John Gardner. He has a lot of stuff named after him, despite not living here that long and not being all that nice to the local Wurundjeri people. It has a new station and platform after the level crossing was removed a few years ago. There was a train and tram crash here in 1923, so it only took a hundred years. The next station is Taronga. At the station you can catch the 624 bus to Oakley Station and Q here. The name Taronga is one of only two Aboriginal names for stations on the Glen Waverley line. The other is the next station, Kuyong. A third name, Cabarang, was suggested for the station at Huntingdale Road, but this became Jordanville instead. Next station is Kuyong. You can catch the 16 tram to Kew or Melbourne University. It's also the station for Scotch College. Kuyong takes its name from the Rindri name for Gardner's Creek, Kuyong Coot. You can see from the station design that it is much older and the lovely tall trees make it one of the prettiest stations on the line. Last station today is Hainton. It, it was built specifically for St Kevin's College in 1890. So it looks much older than any other station. St Kevin's owned the land and there's no wheelchair access because the terrain is too steep. I hope you guys had fun watching us go on the Gone Waverly Line. Leave a like and subscribe. The city is just over there if you guys are wondering how to, go, how to get there. How to get there. Yeah, so. so and we got two minutes till the train goes goodbye. back again. Bye bye. Goodbye. Bye.